playing some of the teams today that are playing. It's unbelievable. We've got some cracker of games today. Yeah, no way. Uh, I saw some uh, the Octorader game v Lumund. Uh, that's going to be probably the game of the day. But I can't wait to see what that is. But yeah. Yeah, so we're on our way to Octorader with Jack Farmer. Here he is. Hey guys. So, sorry the match review is a bit delayed. Um, I usually do it like 2 o'clock ish, but it is coming up. For five o'clock, I am sorry. Um, I was late, but obviously you can see his score here. <sighs> it was a tough match, to be honest. No, no, I'm just, I'm shocked because like one, we could have really won the game. Um, we had a lot of chances. They had a lot of chances. Um, the first half I would say was pretty even. I thought it was pretty even. We had two great chances. We scored. And it got put offside, but he wasn't offside. I was right there. I was offside. The uh, other player was right in front of me. And he was never offside, I'm telling you. We scored from that header, but obviously it didn't count. Offside um, decision from the referee. Um, the, game the game kicked off at... Um, the game kicked off, and it was just normal... We, uh, the balls, Octorader kept on putting it up, and then we would <laughs> put it back down. But it was really, you know, difficult to play because we were playing on Astro as well, uh, Astro Turf as well, and it wasn't even an Astro. It was like a hockey pitch. It was a very bad conditions for the uh, game. Um, but we started the game off pretty evenly. They had a, uh, on their left side, uh, right side. They had a lot of passing going. I think they were trying to play obviously through balls and all that and then we dealt with it pretty well. Alan was doing some great uh, run out of saves. I'm just going to say this now, on Thursday I witnessed one of the best touches I've ever seen on Thursday. But yeah, back to, back to the match review. But yeah, um, oh, so it's roughly, we're, it's it's quite windy as well and uh, we miss, we miss, we're missing uh, one of our uh, strong defenders, Keegan, uh, he wasn't playing at all, but we're getting into 30 minutes of the game and nothing was really, nothing was happening, there was no danger for us and there was no danger for them, we just tried to basically play the through balls through and that's when Connor scored but it got put off out, out, uh, offside, then we had another brilliant chance, uh, Kyle shot and apparently it hit the inside of the post and went out, um, but apart from that, that was really both um, Lowman's good chances, and they had a couple. Uh, they never really had that much, you know, shots. Um, they never had much shots. They had a lot of through balls, but obviously, Aaron Gardner uh, dealt with it. Um, so that was half time, really no nil, nil. Uh, both teams, nothing really looked, you know, anything. Uh, uh, there could have been a different, uh, at least one goal in the first half, but nothing happened. Then we got to the second half and obviously Octorada were they were playing pretty good. Um they had this guy and um he was pretty good. Uh he's bold, he was pretty good by the way. Um he was definitely my man of the match for the other side uh, other team. Um but yeah, uh, they just kept on trying to obviously break us down and then obviously they didn't. Uh, but we got to the second half and this has been we started to get a lot more chances to win the game. We had a chance with Kyle, but he missed it. We had a couple of shots from Cami, and nothing happened. We had a good through ball, and Niall, uh, he tried to slot it bottom right, but the keeper managed to get his leg on it, and it went out. Um, but uh, that, and then... Apart from that, I went on that right back and really I just kept on booting the balls up and nothing came past me really. Then I felt at this one time it was at least five minutes to go and they came back and this boy came onto a shot. I just sneaked the ball before he could shoot and as soon as I did that, Cammy got up and that was really their last a chance. And then Cammy did make a mistake but it was fine, Aaron was on his toes, and obviously nothing happened. Uh, for the first time this season as well, the referee actually said added time 
for the first time of the season that we've witnessed. Um, I was never expecting that. But, yeah, here's some of the other scores from this week. Alright, so as you can see here is some of the scores. So the Ogdor had our uh, Vizelman was 0-0, but that's not actual showed here on the thing. But the other scores, we've got Dalek uh, drawed 2-2 two -two with Genefield. That is a big game for Dalek. Genefield are a very good team, especially in the midfield-ish. And drawing 2-2 two -two against Dalek is pretty good for us and pretty good for them. 7-0 uh, Bayside. Bayside would have humped Longfinnings 7-0. At long finish, that's a pretty good score for Bayside. Ruffus Juniors won 7 3 against Pitt and Weemer. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Pitt and Weemer were gonna beat Ruffus Juniors today, but well done to Ruffus Juniors. Fortin Locals v Real 5. Fortin Locals only lost 2 0, which is a pretty good, obviously, score for Real 5 and not the best of scores. And obviously, you can see the West 5 game and King Ross got postponed. Um, well, that's it. I'll see you in the outro. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please subscribe, and that'll be amazing. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be the range, uh, Hearts v Rangers. And I'll see you in the next match review. But please subscribe. And can we hit... I'm going to give a challenge. Six likes on this video. Um, but yeah, my other match you can see there is Niall. Uh, well done, Niall. But yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week.